Hi everyone, Ollie here, welcome back to the channel. I am really excited to finally get back to the Med School Book Club series here on the channel. This is the second instalment of that series and today I'm going to be looking at Extremes by Dr. Kevin Fong. The full title is Extremes, Life, Death and the Limits of the Human Body. So a little bit about Dr. Fong before we begin. He is a consultant anaesthetist and lecturer working mainly at UCL in London, I believe. He's also known for his close ties with NASA being an expert on space medicine and more generally just medicine in extreme conditions. I was fortunate enough to meet Dr. Fong myself when he came to give a talk at Warwick Medical School at the end of 2018 and I can say from that experience he is a super chill, super nice guy, uh, so much so that uh, he actually signed my copy of the book here which I'm very happy about. So what is the book actually about? Extremes is an illustration and an exploration, as the title might suggest, of what happens to the human body when it's pushed to its absolute limits under extreme conditions. The very first chapter of the book, which is called Ice, follows the case of Captain Scott, who led the Discovery and Terra Nova expeditions towards the South Pole at the beginning of the 20th century. So Dr. Fong in the book describes of that situation not only the kind of physical extremes that are going on, you've got the freezing cold arid conditions of the Antarctic, but also the molecular changes that are happening within the body, and then what that would have meant for Scott and his men. So to quote, as Scott's core temperature drops, the pumps that move ions across his cell membranes are grinding slowly but surely to a halt. The process is inexorable. In the absence of energy, energy borrowed from the fuel of food and burned in the fire of the oxygen that we breathe, the pumps wind down and eventually stop. The ions begin to assume equal concentrations on either side of the cell membrane. This simple symmetry is how death begins. The rest of the book is told through case studies just like this one, exploring situations like extreme burns, being shot through the heart, and the events of the Battle of Waterloo. It's not just historical events that are explored through the book either, because Kevin slips in a lot of his anecdotal experiences as a medical student, as a junior doctor, his knowledge of astrophysics, and becoming involved with NASA and the launching of spacecraft, especially in so far of the effects of those situations on the human body itself. As I said before, Dr. Fong is an anaesthetist, and there are a couple of rumours that go along with being an anaesthetist, at least in the UK. The first and perhaps more derisive of these rumours is that they do nothing 90% of the time. Being sat down in the operating theatre when things are happening, either reading or doing a crossword, which at least two of the anaesthetists I've been with in theatre attest to be completely true. The other rumour, however, and it's probably closer to fact than rumour, is that they are some of the smartest doctors that actually exist, and the 10% of the time where they are doing things intensely is legendarily complex and difficult, particularly for a humble medical student like myself. Why is it important that Kevin is an anaesthetist? The reason I bring that up at all is that when you read most medical books, they're written fairly naturally by specialists who are very passionate and will talk endlessly about the system in which they are trained to a very great depth. And you'll notice that when you read books by neurosurgeons, psychiatrists, they're very good at what they do. But what makes anaesthetists very different is that they have to be masters of all systems of the body because their one job is to stabilise the patient's numbers when the sh it's the proverbial fan. Extremes covers all areas of the body in just enough detail to keep casual readers interested while serving as good revision for anyone who's medically inclined. Kevin has been characterised as Brian Cox with a stethoscope, it even says that right here on the back of the book, and I think it's very easy to see why when you sit down and read it. He has an uncanny talent for making what are on the surface very very complex systems very, very digestible through the use of analogy. I think it's a real testament to his writing ability and the book betrays an immense, immense amount of medical knowledge, which I just don't think you'd get from meeting him in person because of the type of guy he is. He's so humble. He just rocked up in a t-shirt and jeans to give us this talk um, at the medical school and just, you know, seconds in, he had captivated the entire room, and I think reading the book is a good approximation for that experience. So here's a short passage on the narcs and the bends, which are two phenomena classically experienced by aquatic divers. Nitrogen is highly soluble. At sea level it passes from the lungs into the bloodstream until blood becomes saturated and no more can be taken on board. When we go diving, the increase in pressure temporarily allows more nitrogen to dissolve, 
supersaturating the body and its tissues. But once the diver returns to the surface and to normal pressure, the excess nitrogen must come out of solution and form gas. This is exactly the same process we see in the fizzing of a bottle of cola when the cap is twisted off. We all fizz when we dive. The trick is to limit the number of bubbles and the rate at which they form. So there we have just one example of gas physics made relevant through analogy and understandable by even a very novice physiologist like myself. So who is this book ultimately for? Who is going to read Extremes, Life, Death and the Limits of the Human Body? When it comes to medical books, I will only tend to recommend those that I think can be more widely understood by a bigger audience. And this absolutely is one of those examples. Anyone that's interested in biology, exploration, extreme medicine, anything like that will be absolutely at home. I think there's something to please a great many people here and there will be enough of that something to please throughout the book to keep your grip from the beginning to the end. So that was my look at Extremes, Life, Death and the Limits of the Human Body by Dr. Kevin Fong for the second episode of Med School Book Club here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for more articles just like this one. If you've read the book, I'd love to know what you think. Let me know your favourite books down in the comments. They don't have to be medical. I want to read everything there is out there. Let me know. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.